We're gonna make this today. It is a 3D painting. You're going to need a foam plate, painting supplies, you're gonna need uh, some Elmer's glue, scissors, and a canvas or cardboard to paint your background on. Today we're making a sun 3D painting, so I'm gonna cut this foam plate into triangles and then cut those triangles into smaller triangles. Um, and then I'm gonna figure out a way to arrange those in a way that's gonna look like a sun. And you don't have to do it exactly the same. I think the final one, I changed it just a little bit from what I was planning out. That's okay. All right, so I'm gonna paint these sun rays yellow and red because that's what I want my sun to look like. Maybe you want a green sun. Maybe you're painting a star or a spiky dinosaur instead. So you might use a different color. So depending on the colors you're gonna want this to look, uh, your 3D elements to look, you're going to use those colors. I'm fading this from yellow to red. Um, and because it's water-based paint, it will blend while it's wet. Once it's dry, uh, I can paint on top of it, but it won't blend anymore. So now I'm gonna paint my background. So depending on what you're making, your background might be different, but I'm gonna put my sun coming up. Um, actually, I'm gonna have it being like a setting sun over water. So I'm gonna paint water. I'm gonna do a sky, some clouds, and, uh, and then at the end, I can put a nice reflection of my sun in the water. Right? So once again, depending on what you're making, your background might be different. So if you're doing a dinosaur, maybe you got a jungle or something. I don't know. All right. You're going to want to use Elmer's glue or a, or a paper glue instead of hot glue because this is foam and the hot glue will melt the foam. So it's very important that you wait until your canvas or your background is dry before you start trying to glue your 3D stuff on there. Because uh, if it's wet, if the paint's wet and you try to glue it down, it, I don't know what, I don't know what it will do. I don't know. Maybe it will make it more awesome. But I think it will probably just make you a bit more frustrated. All right? Um, like I said, I think I changed these plans here a little bit from my original idea, but that just means I added like a couple of extra beams that I had. Um, so you may find out you have extras that you don't need. You may have to cut a few extras to, to get it just the way you want it. So, uh, I mean, really, other than that, the only thing I have left to do is I'm going to paint a reflection in the water on my background of my, of my 3D sun. Uh, you, you may not have water in your painting, so you may not need to do that, but you can also add like stars or any other little elements, you know, on top of that that you want. Even maybe even more 3D stuff. I don't know. It's up to you. Have fun.